I, I need to interrupt for a second because mm -hmm. one of the things I found is mm -hmm. that like the Hegel's, uh, mm -hmm. the Hegel's embryos, mm -hmm. they seem to stay in the text for a long period of mm -hmm. time. Actually, mm -hmm. they've been disproven mm -hmm. in, in the early mm -hmm. 1900s mm -hmm. and they, st they still appeared in textbooks in 1960, 1970. Mm -hmm. I, I've seen mm -hmm. thing, pictures in museums like mm -hmm. the Neanderthal man that has been mm -hmm. disproven and it, mm -hmm. it still exists. I think, mm -hmm. truthfully, I think that mm -hmm. uh, the evolutionist and the idea of evolution mm -hmm. is something that people want to hold on to. Mm -hmm. And I don't think the mm -hmm. public wants to hold on yeah. to it as much as the <laughs> elitist. The I think, you know, let me interrupt. Actually, it is the other way around because we are a very young species on this planet, less than 100,000 years old, the Homo sapiens. We are very infantile in the sense that we always want to look for a creator, a father figure to comfort us and to show us, show us the way. We are unable to sort of... Uh, Clear our the clear the cobwebs in our mind with regard to uh, the se the sense of comfort mm -hmm. or the existential questions, and that's why we seem to tilt over creationism. Well, but let me uh, ask you a question yeah. here. Now, I'm the only non-science guy here. Okay, okay? <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not that intelligent. I don't know if I was designed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but here's what I do know. Okay, I know the basic fundamental law of science is cause and effect. There uh -huh. must be a cause for every effect. As we mm -hmm. look at the origins of life, mm -hmm. basically evolution is saying mm -hmm. nothing plus time plus chance equals everything because mm -hmm. there is no cause, mm -hmm. there is no explanation or even mm -hmm. plausible theory from your side on cause and effect. Mm -hmm. So why shouldn't his side have a hearing then? See, when we, when we look at what we are talking in, uh, with regard to evolution is the diversification of species. What happened in the primitive world or what happened before the Big Bang is really beyond the scope of science because we do not know. So it's a theory so then, it's a no, hypothetical, no, no, no. See, so why not bring see, both let, in? Let, let me talk about the theory of evolution because the word theory is always mistaken. Theory means a well-substantiated explanation about a certain phenomenon. A theory is not a hypothesis, a theory is not a speculation. So that's how we, we that's how we should, Boyne, yes, you, just, you just speculated about the origins of the universe. Mm -hmm. that, that is totally speculative. And what I resent is the fact that mm -hmm. it is being taught mm -hmm. to our kids today as, as mm -hmm. fact. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, you know, this mm -hmm. dogmatic teaching of evolution mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. needs to be open. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that I really object to. When, mm -hmm. when we're teaching like Big Bang cosmology <laughs> and going through all the different things, mm -hmm. nobody was there when the Big Bang took place. Right. There are only 50 theories yeah, about inflation. So, let me interrupt, Tom. Uh, if you look at the creationist theories it themselves, there are many. If you look at the Hare Krishna movement, the late Srila Prabhupada said the, that God made 8,400,000 species so that the souls of the dead can ascend through these multiple mm -hmm. tiers of species through the process of reincarnation. Which creationist theory do you want to speak? <laughs> no, okay, but wait, before we go there, <laughs> so there I've only many. got seconds. Tom, last question to you, yes or no. <laughs> Would you, is this the camel's nose under the tent that'll bring in more religion into schools? Well, I think it brings good science. I, okay. it, our intent is not to bring religion into the school, Very but good, good science. Well, good questions, good, good questions that need answers. That'll be the last answer. We'll keep on doing this as we're off the air. Thanks for being here.